Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachah HaKwadash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who are learned the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from. And peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation, and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. This is Brother Atazawam. Just wanted to come back with the, uh, you know, Exhortation uh, epistle, Lord willing to be edifying unto the elect who we endure things for. Um, as the title reads, uh, if you do these things, ye shall never fall. Okay, and that comes from uh, the second Peter, the first chapter, the uh, tenth verse. Okay, and these things that um, you know we are we are to do in order to not fall is you know what is uh, Peter, the apostle Peter, speaking about from uh, verse from verse like maybe five on down, but I'm going to start at the top um, in Second Peter's the first chapter, and I'm going to read down to uh, verse 10. So it says, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of the Most High and of our Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right, so this right here lets you, you know, shows you the, the, the opening um, verse, you know, shows you that Peter was only writing unto a specific group of people, okay? Um, and those people are the Israelites that have obtained uh, the like precious uh, faith. So this, uh, uh, this, this letter that Peter wrote, you know, it wasn't written to everybody in the world. Just that's, just, which is why Yahweh Shai um, said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world because his truth is not for everybody in the world. OK, the truth is only for the elect of the nation of Israel, because even when you go to first Peter, the first chapter, he tells you, you know, uh, um, to the uh, scattered, you know, uh, elect that are scattered abroad. Same thing as uh, the apostle uh, James when he wrote his letter. So this this uh, this this uh, faith that we have in Yahweh Shai Mashiach is precious. OK, and, it, and it's supposed to be treated as such. You know, this isn't something that you just pick up and pick down or something that you could just play around with. OK, something that you can taint or, or change. OK, this uh, gospel, this faith, this knowledge, this wisdom and understanding is the, the most and single most valuable thing that, you know, you can have in this uh, in this world. OK, because this is going to lead to your salvation from the day of judgment. All right. From that second death. So read it knowing it says, verse two, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of the most high and of Yahweh Shai, our Lord. So how how do you obtain, you know, greater grace and peace? It's through the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is why even in these times that we're in, you know, the uh, the hopeful elect, the ones who have, you know, steadfast and, and, and is rooted in Yahweh Shai. We have uh, peace, you know, we have peace in the times, you know, uh, of chaos or right, we have peace in, you know, the, 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 the times of the hour temptation. Although we know that we're going to be, you know, in it, we have peace because we know that if we are being steadfast, that we will be saved out of it. As it is written in Jane, uh, Jeremiah, the 30th chapter and also Revelation, the, the um, third chapter, I believe, verse 10. So your grace and peace is to be multiplied through the knowledge, and which is why the Lord has set, set up um, pastors, as you read here in the book of Jeremiah 3, verse 15. It says, I will give you pastors according to mine own heart. When you go into that word pastors, it's what? Shepherds, right? And Yahweh Shai being the chief shepherd, but he has set up, you know, men, you know, starting with the, uh, the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone and, and men on down, okay, uh, that are speaking true wisdom knowledge and understanding whether you know or not whatever camp you know you might be in if you are speaking the true knowledge of the lord all right and you're and you're feeding the sheep with the true knowledge of yahweh bashim yahweh shai then you are a shepherd that was chosen you know uh from the foundation of the earth so it says i will give you pastors according to mine own heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding Okay, knowledge and understanding of what? Of uh, of of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which that wisdom, you know, uh of the of the Lord 
uh, bring salvation. So going back now to Second Peter uh, 1, verse um, 4, I mean, so like verse 3 says, According as his divine power has hath given unto us all things that pertaineth unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to the glory to uh, called us to glory and virtue. So Yahweh through his son, Yahweh Shai has given us divine, has given us everything that we need that pertains unto life and godliness. OK, and, and Peter said this. Right. And Peter was the was that um, rock that the Lord Yahweh Shah said he was going to build his church upon. Right. And that the gates of hell should not prevail. OK. And we are, you know, uh, uh, you know, coming into that in that same stead ambassadors of, of Hamashiach upon that same uh, uh, church that the Lord built with the 12 disciples. OK. Because as Yahweh Shah told them, what lo, I will be with you always, even until the end of the world. So we have everything that we need. In order to, you know, that that pertaineth unto life and godliness. So when, you know, brothers believe that we have the uh, uh, the full truth, the full gospel, the full understanding. Well, that's according to, you know, the scriptures. OK, because if Peter says he had it and the Lord said he was going to build his, his church upon that rock. All right. Peter being King David. OK. And the Lord said he's going to raise up the tabernacles of David as of old. So that means that everybody that's in the house of David would have to also have, you know, uh, that that full uh, truth, that 100 percent truth that pertaineth unto life and godliness. OK, and that comes through what? Through the knowledge of him that called us to glory and virtue. Verse four, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these things. But so like it that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Okay. And that's what we are hoping for. We're trying to go back to our uh, first estate. Okay. That divine nature, the sons of God, because as it is, the scripture says that the whole, the whole um, creature, you know, waiteth for the man manifestations of the sons of God. Yeah. How the scripture says, what ye are gods and all of you are the children of the most high. So a part of the promises is for us to, uh, partake of that divine nature, that God, that God like uh, nature being, you know, the image of the heavenly father as we were to be from the beginning. OK, uh, being conformed to the image of his son, who Yahweh Shai. That's why um, I believe is as for first John. It says what that uh, um, <clears throat> we don't know how we shall appear, but we sh but well, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he has as he is speaking about Yahweh Shai. So we're going to have that divine nature that Yahweh Shai has, you know, once we have our uh, redemption, once we get uh, delivered. But in order to get delivered, there are things that we have to do in this life, in this world. OK, a uh, 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 roads, you know, paths that we have to that we have to maintain on in order to be worthy to uh, receive of that divine nature you know, uh, 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 and overcome the, uh, first, I mean, overcome the second death. Okay. Because ultimately all of Israel is going to receive that divine nature, but we want to be that hopeful elect that elect that receives it by way of his mercy and grace, because the rest of Israel, they going to have to receive it. They won't have to know it after death by pain, you know, but, uh, reading on, it says, I'm going to read verse four from the top again. It says, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. All right. The promises of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay. The promises of, uh, uh, the, 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 um, immortality, everlasting life, you know, dominion over the earth. Okay. The dominion over the people, uh, um, you know, revenge upon our adversaries, peace amongst our nation all these things are the, are the precious promises that is going to be given unto the first fruits the ones who do these things and never and, and, and never fall so we're going to read it you know going on to what we have to do in order to obtain these things it says um that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lusts okay and that's what this devil has promoted all throughout, you know, uh, his reign 
in rulership and power and, and dominion over the earth right now is he has corrupted the minds of the people he has corrupted the ways of uh, of, of life okay through the uh through the desire of the, of the fulfillment of the of the of the lust of the flesh that's why in this world you know they in this in this devil being a deceiver you know for instance let's say uh um you know fornication or, or homosexuality for instance okay that is a wicked a wicked lust of the flesh that this devil has has warped into saying that what love is love you see so in this world you don't have to you know uh have any uh um temperance or any you know uh um you don't have to be uh what's the word i'm looking for you don't have to you don't have to deny your flesh in this world okay in this world in esau's world you can fulfill the lust of your flesh whatever it may be all right going back to the you know illuministic mindset of do as thou wilt and that mindset do as thou wilt is a mindset of corruption you go into this word corruption okay it says um it's this uh g5356 it says in the ethical sense corruption i.e moral decay all right ruin destroying and that's why the the, the scriptures calls this man the uh the son of perdition because what he promotes and pushes out his ideology his wine of his fornication ultimately ultimately leads to uh decay all right moral decay ethical decay and that's why you see in this world, you know, uh, all all turned upside down. All right. The course of this world is 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 completely, you know, uh, upside down because the the man of sin is ruling. All right. And he's pushing out everything that goes against the uh, the will, the righteous will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the way that a. Uh, the divine nature, as, she, as the scripture says, the divine nature of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, that's why you know the the lust of the flesh, as the scripture says in the book of uh, First Peter, actually not First Peter, First John two, verse fifteen, it says, "Love not the world." Why? Because the there's this world is corrupt. All right, this world is morally defiled, so you're not supposed to love this world. But the thing is, because we're in this flesh, and that's the condition of, of the battle, that's the fight. See, this flesh tells you to do, to fulfill the, 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 the pleasures of it, all right? And because people are fleshly minded, because without the, the Rakha Kodash, the Holy Spirit, you're going to give in to your flesh. As Yahweh Shai said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So that's why you need the spirit, the Holy Spirit, to sup with you. Because if not, then you're going to fulfill the lust of the flesh. And, and, and the lust of the flesh is going to and ultimately lead to your destruction. And this world promotes the lust of the flesh. The, this world promotes you uh, uh, doing everything that makes you feel good, even though it might be against the, the uh, divine will, the divine power, the divine nature of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You see, that's why the scriptures tells you learn not the ways of the heathen because the heathen don't have a, a, a Holy Spirit of, in them. OK, they don't have the the uh, the Holy Spirit telling them to do what is right and what is wrong. But that was given into the sons of God that was given into the Israelites. That's what separates us. That's what the word holy means. That's what separates us from the rest of this, uh, you know, the rest of these uh these uh, humans out here, these rest of these nations, is the fact that we have uh, an order, all right, a standard to live by, and our standard is actually of a heavenly, of a godly uh, standard. Okay, so it says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him." Why? Because the love of this world is the promotion of the lusts of the flesh. It says, "For all that is in the world." The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and pride in the pride of life is of the most, it's like it is not of the Father, but it is of the world. Okay? So all these things that the world promotes is not of the is not of the Father. It's of this devil. It's of the deceiver. It's of the wicked. 
Okay, so now let's go back to 2 Peter 1, verse um, 5. It says, I'm going to start at, uh, actually, I'll read half of 4 again. It says, that by these things, but but that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, okay. Going back to the sons of God, the Allahayim, the powers. That's the that's the nature that we are seeking to do, to be a partakers of, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust, and we escape that by way of you know this truth, okay. Well, first and foremost, by way of the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai. Okay, and that's why the scripture says that what they overcame the, the uh, overcame him by the word of, by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. All right, and they love not their lives unto the death, because this life in this world is corruptible. So what there is nothing to love about our life in this world. We are seeking the world to come, the continuing city to come, where wherein dwelleth righteousness. That's the life that we're going to love. All right, verse five it says, and Beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, into your virtue knowledge. So it starts with the faith. All right. And then scripture tells you in the book of Hebrews, the 11th chapter, you know, faith is a substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. So we and when and faith is a gift that that uh, is a gift from the Most High, Ephesians 2 and 8. So the fact that we have faith and we believe in a world to come that is better than OK, that is uh, righteous, although we are seeing a corruptible, evil world. All right. And we know that we have faith and belief that through our uh, diligence in, in living godly and in, in living according to the commandments of the Most High, that he is going to send his son back who died for us, Yahweh Shai, so that we can have abundant life, so that we can have uh, uh, peace on, uh, you know, uh, uh and really peace on, on the earth amongst the uh, Israelites, <laughs> okay? And then ultimately after we establish righteousness on the earth throughout these uh, nations, there's going to be complete peace on the earth, period. You know, after that thousand years of our um, setting up our kingdom, okay? But once again, see, these people in this world, they they speak that they want peace, but really they don't, they don't do the things that, uh, um, they don't do the things that will give the fruits of peace because if you're if you're allowing people to commit adultery if you're allowing people if you're passing un, unrighteous decrees all right if your judgment is not just in, in equity okay if you're allowing basically if you're allowing transgression sin which is uh, uh transgression sin is transgression of the law if you're allow, if you're allowing sin to be a uh, uh dominant in, in your world or in your in your empire, in your nation, what so have you, in your rulership, then you can never obtain peace. And that's why Yahweh Shai, when he returns and, and establishes the house of David on the earth as a as the one true and only kingdom, or his kingdom, is going to be peace because his kingdom is going to be according to the the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, his commandments and his statutes. All right. So it says, um, add to your faith virtue, which is what? Integrity or valor. So these are the things that you that you have to have in order to never fall. First and foremost, it starts with faith. Then from the faith, you add what? Integrity. You add valor. You add, uh, uh, going to the word, it says, um, it says, virtuous course of thoughts, feelings, and actions. Moral goodness. See, this world is morally decay, but you have to add to your faith, moral goodness. All right, it says purity. And what is pure? <laughs> what is holy? What is the what the the ways of the heavenly Father? Ba'ashim Yahushai. Okay, it says and, and to your virtue or to your purity, knowledge. So once you have the faith and then and then the uh, the purity, you add on what knowledge of the Lord. Okay, that comes by what uh, uh, reading, prayer. Okay, uh, 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 paying attention, you know, uh, adhering to the uh, words of the of the of the uh, prophets. All right, watching these videos, so on and so forth. So reading on, it says into knowledge, temperance. So when you build up your knowledge in the Lord, okay, by those ways that you know I just uh, just mentioned, you will now add add to that temperance, which is what self control. 
And that's another thing that this world does not promote. Okay? This world promotes if you want it, go get it. If you if you can get it, then then take it. All right? It says self-control, the virtue of one who's mastered his desires and passions, especially his sensual appetites. All right? His senses. All right? The touch, the feel, the taste, the eyes, the the, you know, those things. In this world, everybody wants to just fulfill the pleasures of that, you know? Whether or not if the fulfillment of that is good or evil, people don't care. They don't care if something feels if something feels good, they don't care if it's morally wrong or not. Why do you think adultery is at an all-time high? All right? Why do you think people eat abominable foods? Because it tastes good. See, fulfilling the, the sensual appetites. But when you are when you add these things into into yourself through the uh, through the spirit and power of your Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakak Wadash, you will have self control over your flesh, mortifying the, your members of your body to su to sustain from these things, to have self control over these things. Okay, for like for somebody who uh, smokes, you got people who can't stop smoking because they can't defeat they can't have self-control over their sensual appetites or somebody who is an excessive drinker because they don't have self-control over their sensual appetites they can't mortify their flesh because they are walking in the flesh that's why the scriptures talks about becoming a new man a new creature that's really you being spiritually minded not making provisions for the flesh reading on it says into knowledge, temperance, into temperance, patience. And that's what consistency, steadfastness. So when you have self-control, you can be consistent in doing the right thing. OK, yeah, a, a righteous man fall down seven times. But what? But he gets back up. Why? Because he's consistent in, in, in his mind of doing the right thing. Because even though we're in this, these chains of darkness, so sometimes we are going to fall. Sometimes we are going to come short. Sometimes we are going to mess up. But if you are consistent, if you are, if you have patience, if you have consistency, steadfastness, you're going to get right back and continue on that straight, narrow path. You're not going to give up. You're not going to fall into mischief. All right. But you're going to be patient. And, and once again, going to that word patience is what? Endurance. You're going to endure the, the, the struggle. They can once again the condition of the battle see most people they don't want to fight this battle they don't want to take the straight gate because they don't want to have to endure they don't want to have to have self-control but we have gotten these things through what the knowledge wisdom and understanding of our of yahweh bashim yahweh shai as a gift from the lord so it is our duty to to continue in these things it says into patience godliness which is what Piety towards the Most High, okay. Uh, basically, you know, uh, uh, doing the will of the Most High. It says into godliness, brotherly kindness, and that brotherly kindness goes into the, the Greek word Philadelphus, all right, or Philadelphia, which is brotherly love, all right, and and, and to brotherly, and it says into brotherly kindness, charity, and charity. That's another word for love, but that's the word, the Greek word agape. Which that that word is different from Philadelphus, which is another word for love. And that and Philadelphus is brotherly love, but agape is love as an action. Okay, having showing your love, and that's why the Yahweh Shai told Peter, "If you love me, feed my sheep," because that was the action. The action to show your love is the, the is the highest action. Love is the highest form of love. Okay. That's why the scripture talks about how um, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. You see the action. He loved the world, not just in word, but he loved the, in the world of Israel. That's what he's speaking about, that he sent the verb, his son to die. And his son loved us by being that sacrificial lamb and dying for us. So we having charity, all right, having that action love. Is to do what? Is to you know uh, 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 have temperance, have self control, okay? To abstain from uh, the lust of the flesh, all right? If if you have the spirit of prophecy on you, to do the works of prophesying, 
okay? If you are a believer, you know, whatever lot that the Lord has given you to do, you know, to show your works, to show your faith, you do that consistently, diligently. And that's, and, 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 and you see how charity, which goes into the word agape, action love, is the last, but faith is the first. And that goes back to what James said, faith without works is dead. Because faith, if you have faith, then you're going to show your faith by your works. And the works is the love that you have, okay, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the brotherhood. All right, brother slash sisterhood, if you will. But reading on verse uh, eight, it says, for if these things be in you and abound, meaning meaning increase. So if you're in this truth and, you, and you're practicing all these things, they should increase in you. You shouldn't be de you shouldn't be decreasing while you're in this walk, in self control and godliness and temperance and faith and virtue and uh, uh, brotherly kindness and, and charity. You should be increasing in these things. You're, you, the time that you've been in from the first day that you got in to whatever time it is now, you should you should have abounded in the in, in the love in the charity in the faith. So it says, and if these things be in you and abound. They make you that ye shall neither be barren, okay? And you go into that word barren, meaning free from labor, lazy, shunning the labor which one ought to perform. So if you have these things in you, then you shouldn't be lazy. You shouldn't be, you know, you shouldn't have to have somebody up your ass telling you to do, you know, show your charity, you know, have charity, which once again goes into the word agape. It's not about just giving somebody money. You know, that's what this world teaches you about charity. You know, these cha charity funds are just giving money. No, it's about love as an action. All right. So if these things are in you, then you shouldn't be lazy. You should be wanting to do these things. You should be desiring to do these things. It says that ye shall neither be barren, a.k.a. lazy, nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So even your knowledge should be increasing. It says, but he that lacketh these things is blind. So if you lack any of these things, you are blind. It says mentally blind, meaning basically you're lost. Okay. As Yahweh Shah said it, unto them, it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of, of the Most High. I mean, unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of the Most High, but unto them it is not given. It says, and cannot see afar off. So you can't, you, you really don't have the mindset to see the benefits of having all these things, which ultimately is salvation and being uh, exempt from the judgment of the wrath of the Most High. You can't see the, 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 the reward that these things are going to bring you. It says, and have forgotten that he was purged of his old sins. Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence, right? Give diligence to make haste to exert oneself. So exert yourself to make your calling and your election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Okay? So if you do these things, you're, you shall never fall. You're never going to draw back. Okay? It says uh, stumble. To fall into misery, to become wretched. Why? Because these things, if these things are in you and they're abounding in you, then these you're never going to fall out of the truth. And ultimately, you're going to stay steadfast and endure unto the end. As Yahushua said, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. So meditate on these things, man, and, and, and increase in these things. Okay? And you will never fall. And you will endure unto the end and you will be. And that's how you make your calling and election sure. So, you know, with that, Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Till next time, Shalom.